Hello, my name is JJ Jones and I'm here today to talk to you about how to castrate a male goat using the elastrator method or commonly called banding. Why do we want to uh, castrate our male goats? It is a management decision. As a producer, you need to decide whether the, uh, the cost and expense and the time it takes to band a goat is worthwhile to you. There are some out there that believe that when we band our male goats and, and sell weather goats instead of buck kids, then we actually get more money in the market. There's also that thought of, of having unplanned pregnancies because our goats are intact and may breed with females when we don't want them to breed. We also, if we try to raise intact males on our, pro, on our farms, then we have to separate them from our females just so we don't have those unplanned pregnancies. There are several methods out there to castrate goats, but the one we're going to talk about today is the most commonly used, which is, like I said, referred to as banding. What first we have to have is what we call as a lastrator. We can pick these lastrators up at any farm, uh, farm implement store, co-op, or feed store. They're relatively inexpensive. They come in two different forms, plastic and metal. The, these, uh, when we get, these are what we're going to use to put the rubber bands on the goats. The next thing, again, is the rubber bands. These usually come in packs of 100. Uh, they can come in either green or orange. Uh, it doesn't, the color doesn't matter that much. The thing about these is, is once we buy these, we cannot store these on the dashboard of our pickup or underneath our seats. They have to be stored in a cool, damp, dry spot. Uh, one thing, one place that works really well is the butter dish of our refrigerator, if, you can, if the wife will allow you to do that. So once we have our elastrator and our band, what we're going to do is we're going to put the band on top of the elastrator. The elastrator has four little grooves in the, in the four prongs. And so we're going to set this uh, rubber band onto the bander into those little grooves. Once we do that, then we're then ready to get our goat and band him. So we're now ready to band our goat. My helper Justin here has, uh, has grabbed the goat and put, placed the head of the goat between his legs and reached over, grabbed the back legs and raised them up. That puts the testicles at a right height, an easy height for me to reach in and band them. Now you can do this operation by yourself, but it does help to have a helper. And anybody can really do the part that Justin here is doing. I have a 12-year-old son that helps me out at my house. So what we're going to do now is Justin's got it hit up, up here. We're going to uh, uh, place the band on. We have to point the elastrator with the points towards the body of the goat. So we're going to raise, uh, open the band, place it over the scrotum. Now we're going to grab the tip of the scrotum and pull it through the rubber band. As we do, notice one testicle comes in. Oop, the goat kicks. That's okay. We can do it again. We pull it through one, and both testicles there have popped in to that band. Now that's the big key to this is making sure that both testicles have, have uh, come through that rubber band and we count one and two. Once we're there we go up here and we don't want to put the band right up next to the body cavity but just slightly below it. We put there make sure that the teats that the male goat has is not in the band. We release the, ba the lastrator letting the band, uh, rubber band go tight. Then we pull the band, uh, lastrator off the band and there we go. The, the goat has been banded. Now, that band will stay on, and it's going to, it's right now started to cut the blood supply off to the testicles. Blood can flow in, but it can't fl flow back out. So in about two to three weeks, the, test, the scrotum will then dry up and then fall off. And there's nothing, there's no blood involved, and there's nothing, uh, the goat will not even know that anything's happened. Now, for the first two to six hours, this goat may act a little hurt, a little dazed. He might just want to just lay around and and not do much but by tomorrow morning this goat will be fine and everything will go. That's all there is to banding goats. We've now banded him. He's now considered a, a weather goat and we can now uh, take him to market as such.